I'm here with Mark, and you work with the Cubetto. So, in the Swedish preschool and primary context for young kids to start coding, we've seen a bit of robotics and stuff, but mm -hmm. we haven't seen the Cubetto that much. Tell me, what, what's the thing about this product? Well, it's a, it's a good question. Robotics has been around for a long time, and what we've done with Cubetto is we've taken code and put it down into a tactile form where it's a procedural language that tells a robot something to do. What we have with that procedural language is we have directions we can do to solve problems, all without the use of a screen. So basically, you work with the wooden kit, mm -hmm. and you have these small symbols yeah. that you, you align to form some kind of structure that gets the robot to do things. That's right. So with the instructions we give, it helps to form algorithms and the algorithms then turn to programs and we can then use decomposition or abstraction and all these kind of big words that are really fun but also really scary in a very friendly way to make the robot move. Yeah. So let me give you a demonstration. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So if we want a robot yeah. to move one space, I take a code, yeah. I put it into the board, yeah. I press execute, do you want to do that? And the robot will then move. And it moves one It one moves step. one thing that you tell it to do. Yeah. So if we wanted to move it two steps, for instance, yeah. to go from here to here, yeah. the asteroids, we'll need two goes. So I have to take it in. That's an algorithm. Yeah. The algorithm then goes to a program by execution. And it will go one step at a time and one step at a time. And why this is important and what separates it from a lot of the other learning tools which are great is that the young learners can see the script in front of them. So when they sort of program something and it really doesn't turn out, mm -hmm. the sort of going back and debugging. Absolutely. Would probably and so be as educators, we know we love to make mistakes. Yeah. And so if I wanted to do this and say, go here, yeah. and I'll say, okay, we need to go, go, turn, turn go, go. Yeah. and I'll do this. Go, go, turn, yeah. go. They can see it, yeah. execute, and it will happen. Now watch this. So we know I've made a mistake. Yes. The kids don't know that. Yes. It will get to there. Yeah. It will turn, and, I'll and the kids yeah. will go, oh, I've wrong. done it. It's wrong. And immediately, because of the way it is, yeah. they will take this out. They'll put that back. Yeah. They'll put this back, and they'll go, and they'll slam it in. Yeah. And it and will move. And the sort of wooden physicality yeah. and the sort of robustness, I guess, that is. informs it to be something else. That's, that is. And what we do is we start conversations by saying to a, a learner, what is a robot? Yeah. Anything from a dishwasher yeah. to a TV yeah. to a phone, those are all robots, and they need to be told what to do. The idea of coding is very important because it's a new standard of digital literacy yeah. that the young learners are going to have to do. Not because everyone's going to become a coder or a programmer, but they have to know it like they know English, like they have to know math, yeah. in order to compete in the world economy in 5, 10, 15 years. And so it's about creation. So at what age groups uh, would you expect to be able to use these educational tools? It's an interesting one because it's designed for ages 3 to 6. Yeah. So a question somebody would go, but a 3-year-old, can they understand this? Yeah. Yes, they understand if I do something, yeah press the button, but it will do. There's action causality yeah. into it. My five-year-old who I introduced it to, we got into how to do programs and routines and subroutines because she started thinking in scripts. If I do this, this happens. And so that's how we progress the learning on. Thank you so much, Mark, for no walking problem. us through the, the platform. No problem. Thanks very much for your help. Thank you.